Hey guys, in this video I'm going to do a full review comparison between the Huawei P8 versus the iPhone 6. Um, so let's just get into this. So first a difference that you will notice between these devices is of course uh, the display. The size of this device is bigger and, um, and of course iPhone 6 is small, uh, which is of course uh, because of the display here. So this is 5.2 inch screen. Uh, and this is a 4.7 inch screen so that is the most um, you know eye-catching difference between these two phones at first glance uh, now if we talk about the build quality both are made up of uh, the aluminum metallic you know whatever you want to call it the premium material uh, you're not gonna see any cheapness in these in both of these phones uh, really nice design both are really great in terms of design uh, well this one is around 6.4 millimeter thin and iPhone 6 uh, is around 6.9 millimeter thin so you can still see that uh, the Huawei P8 is, is definitely slimmer than the iPhone 6 and if we talk about the weight iPhone 6 is again it has the smaller screen so smaller form factor uh, it gives it a edge in terms of the weight so yeah that's about the build quality both are really nice overall you're not gonna see anything you know cheap both are really premium so of course power button is right on the on this side on the right side on both of the phone while the iPhone 6 has Apple um, Apple's um, you know design language is a little bit different so it has there's volume rocker on the left side while we do have the volume rocker right above the power key and then also we have the dual sim capabilities with SD card slot which of course iPhone 6 is just a single sim uh, variant you know you have this um, slot here and on the bottom you can see the lightning port and the speaker and same kind of design language on the Huawei P8 and uh, not that much difference uh, but um, but the 3.5 mm headphone jack is on the bottom on the iPhone 6 while the headphone jack is on the top on the Huawei P8 and that's the difference there and the camera is again on the top left on both phones uh, 8 megapixel here um, eyesight camera really nice um, sensor and all that stuff uh, with the two-tone LED flash then also we have dual LED flash with uh, 13 megapixel resolution and that's about the whole design I'm really satisfied with both of these phones so um, so if we talk about the software here the iPhone 6 is uh, basically I have installed the iOS 9 here the beta version and uh, of course it is a little bit damaged due to the water test but but of course um, you know iOS 9 has its own goodness and this is um, and this one is coming with the the uh, the 3.1 uh, Huawei's Emotion UI, a totally different experience. If you you know use this uh, UI, you know it's really nice. Endless scroll and of course home screens. There's no app drawer by the way, but but it's really nice and really different. Um, a lot of similar things between uh, the uh, the Huawei's Emotion UI versus the iOS. Like we do have it control center type thing. Um, on the lock screen, and same stuff as here. You know, it, it, they resembles a lot. Look at the bottom of the the both phones. You know, they resembles a lot each other to each other. But anyways, uh, both have their own features. We do get uh, a little bit more features on Huawei P8, um, like features like this. You know, and um, and of course gloss mode. And you know, it has this really nice tips and tricks. Uh, While well, the iPhone 6, of course, the iOS 9 is not ready, not cooked yet but still it does have some good stuff um, like battery saving and, and you know of course iOS is a is a very well optimized very well defined OS you know you're not gonna see any problem very nice uh, even though it's a beta uh, if, if you have watched my speed test you know that the iOS 9 is definitely is gonna be a good thing for the iPhone 6 um, you know in terms of speed and all that stuff and we do get a lot of good apps also so iOS has its own goodness, and this one, uh, the Android uh, also has. A, so speaking of Android, this is coming with uh, the uh, the Android 5.0 Lollipop, and that's the version that we have. Um, if we go into about the voice, uh, this is the Android 5.0 uh, version, and uh, and you also do get things like this, like one-handed mode, and same kind of stuff here. Tapping here, uh, look at that a little bit more so it's of course iOS 9 beta bug it goes sometimes to the top but yeah this is the uh, the one-handed mode on the iPhone 6 so um, if I talk about the under the hood things we have 3GB of RAM here should be really enough to 
uh, do a lot of multitasking stuff on this phone, uh, while the iPhone 6 has 1 GB of RAM, which is really optimized, um, you know, with the environment of iOS, you're not going to see any problem, um, you know, and also it has the Apple AA dual core chipset, and this one has the Kirin 930 octa core 2 gigahertz processor with melee gpu t628 quad core and and of course in terms of gaming iphone 6 has edge over all the phones you know smoothness and all that you know that was a past thing because nowadays you're not gonna see a galaxy of 6 lagging in the games you know i've done a gaming test here by the way i haven't seen any lag on this processor but definitely and both of these phones don't sport 4k video i don't know if both sports or not but but both of those phones have no option of 4K video recording. So you're not going to see any lag on the iPhone 6. You're not going to see any lag here on, on this phone. Um, I will also be doing some benchmarks and some other stuff uh, on my channel. We'll be doing some detailed stuff also. Um, and probably iPhone 6 has a little bit stronger processor. Uh, and, uh, you know, overall. But, but we'll see the benchmarks, what benchmarks are going to tell us. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, if I talk about the camera, so the camera here is 13 megapixel, while the camera here is uh, is 8 megapixel. So of course the battery is too low, so it says that flash is not available. So you can just capture the photo, um, or you can also check out some other stuff, like you can turn on the front camera, you can turn on the flash, you can also check out the beauty mode, there's also a video mode here, time lapse mode, you can check out the filters I mean it's really nice uh, I'll do some separate camera tests also uh, so far you know and um, it's, it's a really nice device but Huawei has to do a lot of uh, you know improvement to beat the iPhone 6 iPhone 6 is really nice in terms of the camera performance it's low light performance really nice and it's really snappier and you know it's not uh, Huawei P8 P8 is not that much snapper in terms of capturing photos so um, yeah that's that so um, iPhone 6 also stayed forward with the iOS 9 you can see um, photo video slow motion time lapse you can also switch to front camera and um, and also uh, you can go into the gallery to check out your photos uh, same stuff iPhone 6 also has this fingerprint scanner which is again a uh, really icing on the top uh, while we don't get any type of uh, fingerprint scanner or any waterproof or any superpower on the Huawei P8, uh, but definitely it's a nice phone. And if you really want a device um, in um, in you know in around fifty thousand rupees uh, with the, with the normal screen size, 1080p resolution, and good performance overall, it's gonna be it's gonna be a nice phone. But of course, you gotta spend a little bit more money on the iPhone. Uh, iPhone will gonna give you that iOS environment. You you, you know. But, but the version that I'm talking about that you will get in the price of 65000 or which is $650, is basically a 16 gigabyte. So I will not recommend you to buy a 16 gigabyte iPhone 6. You must uh, have at least 32 so that you can enjoy full apps. But if you don't install a lot of apps, then 16 gigabyte will be enough. Uh, so really nice iPhone 6 uh, overall with the iOS 9. And, um, and about this phone, this phone is also nice with its Huawei's Emotion UI 3.1. And overall, it all comes down to the iOS and Android preference. If you do enjoy the iOS, you will like the iOS, the iPhone 6. If you enjoy the Android, you will enjoy the Huawei P8. Um, so yeah, that's about this video. If you uh, like to know something, do let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll be doing some app opening tests also. I'm not going to leave that. You know, it's there are a lot of things that I need to cover up. But that's, you know, my overall full review comparison of both phones so make sure you subscribe make sure you like this video and i'll see you in the next one